and this take on additional missions. We're gonna go for supplies here. Strategic yes. resource located. I do want Avenger the additional mission. Would also like the additional engineer, but the mission I think is more important. It might even give us alien allies, which would be amazing. So now we're losing greater amounts of will. Okay, so this is great. We will build a power relay, because if you build it on top of a shielded uh, power coil, we it will give you much more power. And it will, basically not for the entire game, but for most of the game, it will keep you covered. If you upgrade this, power relay construction initiated. you're pretty much good for a long time. And we are also going to build uh, resistance comms. Don't think we'll need them yet, but if we do, they'll be there. To the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare. I which will means we can't expand our facilities so further. How many do I have? I have one more engineer. I will use them her to excavate this debris here. And we'll just see. Also, yeah, I think we're fine. We're at some point also gonna get our commander. The aliens continue to make progress. We're gonna get on the our project. If we're going to slow them down, straight. we'll need to move fast. The results of our breakthrough were quite fascinating. So I forgot what I was gonna say, but we did get our improved magnetic weapons, which is great. We get a one damage increase on to all of our weapons, all of them at the current level. I hope it uh, goes over to the next one. Um, we're not really in that much of a hurry, so I'll just keep getting as intel, because we've been spending quite a lot of it. Yes. Okay, now we can do a retaliation mission. Setting course for Mexico. I hope we have our... We do. We have both of our heroes back. She has increased damage now. She can also do last hits, which is her main purpose in life. He's just all around helpful. Um, I do want to take one support with me. I'll look quickly if I can get the second squad size upgrade, which I don't think I can yet. So we need a captain, also supplies apparently. Okay. That's fine. Um, so we'll your do. That only on so what do we take out? Who do we take out? I kind of want to power level our heroes. So in that case, I would have to take out a heavy to get in a specialist. But we actually. Yeah. So we only have a squaddy available as a specialist because I really don't want shifter to be getting any negative trades so I'm 50-50 on just taking the grenadier, grenadier I'm gonna take the grenadier what could go wrong? I'll give him um, I'll give him a heal we are ahead of the game when it comes to 
attack, so we should be okay. At least somewhat okay. Um, yes, so you... I also need to make weapons available, because we actually have one good weapon. And that is our... We have one good sniper. That is this one. I also like color coding my, my good weapons. Uh, so later on I can just look at all of my weapons and see that everybody has a good um, weapon equipped. Do we actually have any additional weapon upgrades that I haven't... any good ones at least. Um, stock, stock, auto loader. I guess it's better than nothing. I won't even change the color of that weapon for a fucking auto loader. Um, I think we're good. We need to take it kind of slow because we really don't want to get caught since we don't have a specialist to save us. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. But it should be good. So I just added a couple of fish to the tank that's on my desk, so <laughs> I, was, I was just just looking at them um, because the I used to have a pair of them in there but they were content uh, well the male died of a sickness just a couple of weeks ago so the females been really hiding a lot so I added some of her babies in here and now they're all fighting but we'll see how it goes if they keep fighting but right now it's normal I also want to select the next generation before I sell them. I will sell a lot of them now. Because I have way too many of these. Oh, whatever. So, what's good now is that our um, our Reaper isn't really susceptible, susceptible to dying anymore because we can use her very defensively and still get a lot of kills because when somebody's close to death which is also good that we got her upgrade when somebody's close to death um, she can finish them she has very good accuracy which means she's very unlikely to get revealed and even if she does get revealed once we can still use her by putting her back into cover and hopefully just steamrolling from now on and I also want to level up my Reaper as fast as possible. One of those chosen is leading an assault on the resistance encampment in this area. Our people are doing what they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. There's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. So we'll just see if we have any parts between us and Moving the as ordered. people. We do not, as it look. At least it doesn't look the, that way. So we're just gonna be very aggressive and move in as fast as we can. It should be good. And that was a dumb idea because that is not a good place for our sniper. I also don't really know. We have to think about where the aliens are coming from. So the map ends here and we have to defend this house so I kind of we are probably gonna have to put our sniper inside this house to at least a useful position. I must run. It's very strange that we spawned uh, so far inside the, the map right now. We also have to make sure that we position our Reaper. A reaper in a very safe location where she's not gonna be run into and killed which should be great okay so first off 
What I think is most important now is the position of our sniper, who I probably skipped over at some point. So she, I will put her here on that corner. She should be able to see almost the entire building, but I actually, well, I think I can see this whole room, so I should be safe putting her in here. Okay. So I don't think the... Uh, I don't think the aliens have spawned yet. Or have activated, I don't know. Or at least the pods haven't uh, started attacking actively, so... We should be good for now. Just putting our people into position. I don't know if I want to be inside of the building. If that's a good idea or if we want to move past the building which probably might be better and I probably shouldn't have put my sniper there but we'll see we'll see how it goes yeah so I think I'm just gonna start and this is a very aggressive move with him so maybe so we still have a lot of first turns. Maybe I'll just move him here. Move. I kind of don't want to move. Well, I'm actually dumb because I still have my Reaper available and can use her to These mutons spot. seem a little more agile than the ones we fought in the past. It looks like they're still serving as the aliens front line though. So mutants remain a giant pain in the ass throughout the entire campaign and you always need to make sure to take them out as quickly as possible. I do not want to... Well... I will actually just put all of my remaining soldiers on Overwatch if they still have a turn. Because I really don't want to get grenaded by the muton. And I will not move her anymore. Because I don't. Because at this point I'm better off um, letting civilians get killed instead of my soldiers. Take those bastards down! I hope it's not too many civilians, but... So we did hit them, which is very nice. It's crazy that the mutants have two, two armor already, this early in the game. So if we're lucky, the resistance will finish off at least one of the mutants. But they're not gonna get very far with the muton that still has two armor on it. So we're gonna have to help him out a little bit. Like so, for example, which is, that's just great luck. Wait, I thought we did seven damage to him. Oh, does he have that much health? Or was that on the... So she does 6 to 7 damage and he has 7 health. So if we don't kill him we risk um, we risk being revealed. Oh yeah, we killed the we actually killed the mech, Let's which is great it. too. Mechs are fucking alive. So I will just let my heavy take out the Newton hopefully. But this sounds like a miss, I'll get him next time. which is great. Ammo I'm very happy about that. So she first. Okay, what is her? So she has a 50% chance of hitting that muton. I th thought he had a friend. I don't remember. I thought that muton had a second. second in his pod I don't know I'll just use marks to look 
So now I probably can't move the, all the way over here with just one turn. Okay, let's worry about this mutant first. Um, so this mutant does not have any more armor, which is good. So I think... Hmm. Okay. I said let's worry about this mutant and then I did the exact opposite. So let's worry about the injured mutant first because there's a very simple solution to this problem. It's not a very good solution. We could just flank him with our sniper and shoot him with her pistol. But then our sniper is out of position for the next turn. Um, yeah, I'm probably completely overthinking this. I will move her... Well, with mutants you really don't... But I don't think any of the mutants will survive this round. I kind of need vision over there because I'm still pretty sure that we have a s second one probably... Mm, we, we probably have a second mech somewhere around here. So we need to consider that. What can you shoot? Oh, you can just kill him anyways. You don't even need to move. I will open up the door and see if we actually get a different shot. Yeah, so this is the actual best solution to this. Just kill the Newton with her. Then we'll use Mox, because Mox is a very mobile unit, in order to flank the Newton, hopefully. Can I not flank the Newton? I can actually, I can actually kill the muton with, I cannot kill the muton apparently, with my reaper. I should, hmm. yeah, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm kind of dumb. Okay, I could shoot that, I don't, I can use this. Because I never use that, so I'll just use this to kill the Muton, which is probably the best idea. That actually did only 2 damage, that's not very good. And I will move her here because I believe we... I still believe we have a second part to that Muton's uh, pod. And Scanning. we will probably see that in the next turn. I'll move him away from her in order to avoid getting hit by a grenade. I'll put him in full cover here. Right next to my sniper because I'm a fucking idiot. Um, yeah, so guys, you're just gonna have to hit your overwatch shots. If you had your overwatch shots, everything is good. Yeah, so... They did! For once they listened to me. Because that would have been bad. I don't know if the troopers have grenades yet the at this point. Team is in the clear. But if they did, the that would have been real bad. Okay, so we There's actually finished our first... Down within range of your position. First part of the mission. We need so to get we in can move on to the next and nobody got injured people. so far, which is great. Also, we didn't actually have... One thing that's really good is that we didn't have a, a chosen spawn on this mission. But I guess um, at this point in the, in the campaign that's more normal. Than having a chosen spawn. I will also uh, rush to take out the chosen as fast as I can, pretty much. I'll just move through this building in order to hopefully break the window to let our Reaper move without uh, her being revealed. Just, she should break the window. Rolling out. Yeah. 
that's good we can now freely use our reaper to scout but at this point i think we well we'll start off with our reaper in order to avoid getting uh blindsided by a pot that's standing right there i actually completely didn't look at where the next part of the mission is and pretty didn't really move my people uh, very effectively uh, that's fine i think we get a couple of turns of i don't know what's called where we don't get messed up oh okay so they're immediately attacked that's fine i think we still have a lot of the way when it comes to how many civilians we can get killed before we lose the mission. And maybe the resistance will... Their, their weapons upgrades are a little but I think the resistance is probably on the same level as the aliens are when it comes to weapon upgrades so we can probably judge the level of the aliens by the resistance they do have a lot of uh, health though or do I really have to move all the way out there to get that loot? but we did save a lot of resistance people so we're um, this means we're probably gonna have to do a lot less killing because they'll help us out a great deal I do want to final hit a lot though because I need experience and I want my soldiers to level up as quickly as possible so I will move in and hopefully see whatever they were just shooting at to finish it off with my reaper I probably should have moved her over she can't see anything so I will move her in the direction of uh, the loot that dropped back there because well the loot you I think never hide from me. I've spotted an alien patrol. I think the loot dropped further over but we can actually use our sniper to start shooting we're gonna take a shot at this one at the stun dancer because he has more health and our sniper does a lot of damage and we can take out this stun lancer probably he probably just moved into no 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 i did two moves with my with my reaper that's unfortunate because we we activated the pod and didn't really get much out of it we're just gonna have to double move everybody up I think because we there's no place we can see the other stun lancer also gonna look for full cover closer to the actual settlement well okay I think I'm just gonna go here Got it covered. but the stun lancer doesn't matter stun lancer I think the stun lancer works the same way our Unless he shoots, but I don't think that's very likely. The stun lance I think works the same way our rangers do and they pretty much always have a 100% hit chance from a certain point on so I don't think uh, cover matters at all when you're talking about melee damage. Solid copy. Yeah, so this is one of the units that's aggro to civilians so we don't actually have to worry about it but you really don't want a stun lancer running around uh, killing civilians in the missions where they're not all on the same in the same place because i've actually lost the mission because of that before because i couldn't catch and the stun lancer has stun lancers have such a large amount of movement possibility that you can't catch them with anything except for reapers i guess because I usually just level up my reapers to have maximum movement as well because they are scouting units in my eyes and 
what I will do now is use my Google to finish off the stun lancer but still move in the general direction of the hmm wait can I use can I just use remote start as much as I want that's crazy doesn't even have a cooldown on it um okay so I will go here and see if I, I have a no above 90% chance of shooting the stun lancer. Not this one, not that one. I should be good. For the I don't really, I don't think that pot is activated yet, so I don't need to activate it also move up my sniper ideally to a position where she can actually see somebody don't think there is one so i'll move her here well she can see someone from here but it'll probably not help us very much i also don't think we can get the loot it might even expire on this turn i don't think it will So I think maybe it's not the worst idea to actually just activate the pod. Can I? Maybe not. Confirmed. I'll just overwatch them. In that case. Um, yes, so there's no windows here. So there's no line of sight. XCOM 2 is a game about line of sight, so I think this wall... I don't like this because he can... Even if they just move in, they have a very good angle on him, but I think that's the only place I can actually put him. I could have grappled, which would have been a better idea. I will move her in. I can't move her up to here because she will actually spawn the pot. There's a square here where she can actually see the pod which is not where i want to be so i will just i should be good here but i thought i saw a helmet on some Already square there. hopefully she doesn't okay she doesn't i will actually reload her gun because if she doesn't have any ammo she's pretty useless and then we'll just see what happens I hope that pod moves in, it does. I actually hoped he would hit this shot, but he didn't. But since it's on their turn, they're not going to be able to do anything. I should probably just say goodbye to that loot anyways, because there's no way I can get to it. I don't even know where it is. It should be... Yeah, well, it's going to expire. Oh, you shouldn't have missed that one. Okay, so we are pretty much... Well, this one has 5 health, which means I'll just uh, flank and kill him. Should be close to 100% here. Says I am to obey. Actually really starting to like remote start, because I can use it pretty much whenever. So she just gets kills no upon run. kills, which is great more skills she has the better you can actually see someone which surprises and makes me very happy it delights me i guess she's got her kill she's great as well i now need to kill this stun lancer and i don't want her to get set on fire so what i will do instead 
can you actually... Oh, it's a 60% chance. Well, we'll try it. If it works, then it's perfect. It worked, which is great. So Mox can just take up that Stun Lancer, which is really good. So I think that's the end of the mission. No oh wait, we have one more. Yeah, so once you've killed all the enemies, all of the uh, faceless reveal themselves. I now need to find... Where was that? Where are you? It's probably somewhere in those... close to those civilians. So I should be able to see him here. Yeah, we're gonna move. Oh, I thought I'd put her on. What the hell? Okay, so... This is kind of unfortunate because she can't actually take out... We well, still have this one's movement. Can she actually get to a point where she can see the faceless? Um, not unless we finagle a little bit. Okay, so the faceless is... where is it actually? Okay, so it's standing right there? Somewhere? So my idea... I can't fucking see the faceless, where is it? Damn it. Um, so my idea was actually just to grenade it and drop it down so the other heavy could finish it off, but I can't see it. It's, why can I not see it? Yeah, so that's kind of a fool's gambit, I guess. So, can I move it inside somewhere? I could overwatch it, but then I should get to a place. I have no idea where that is. Is it above me? I actually have no idea. So I will just... Should I flash it? I don't even know where to put the flash in. So I'll just shoot at it, I guess. Oh, it's visible. And invisible. Um, so pretty much I need to be able to have line of sight to the faceless in order to avoid her getting hit. Wait, I can see it now. Okay. So, can we hit just the faceless? That is the question. So if we can... If we can't, we're actually... So I don't think we can. I will put her in a position where hopefully she can see the faceless. Do I have any other... No, I don't have any other action left. Okay. So I'll move her back a little bit to hopefully get an angle. Oh, she can see it from here. That's good. And that's not even that bad. The faceless can't use cover. So that should be the end of the mission, which went flawlessly. I'm very happy about it. We saved a lot of civilians, so we're gonna get a big increase to our to our income, which is great. And the mission the mission just went perfectly. So there's not much to complain about at all. You could even say nothing. According to Advent officials, recent attacks by dissident elements operating outside of the city centers have done little to slow the progress of Advent's ongoing development or outreach programs. Voluntary citizen emigration numbers are reportedly at their highest level in recent years.
Yeah, so hopefully we got somebody to level up. We might want them to sit out. I don't know how strongly you're punished for with the tired mechanic in this difficulty. I don't think it's that bad. Maybe we need our we need to sit some people out. We really put a hurt on the aliens this time, Commander. They won't forget it. Okay. Um Wow, Captain's quite a way away. I will go for demolition again. Demolition's just good. He leveled up too, which is great. Wrath is a good ability where you don't pull the enemy towards you, but you pull yourself towards the enemy, so it works on things that are not humanoid, which is great. And it allows him to be really... Um, allows him to be really agile, which is always good. Yeah, so I often don't move my Reaper, and uh, my Reaper, my my Skirmisher, and just use him to shoot twice, so this is a good one. I will continue to just go straight towards the Sniper part. Well, it's actually called the Sniper part, I didn't know that. And you and your crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today. So Commander, since this went so well, we got work. 45 supplies more from that part of the US, which is great. Apparently, not good enough for the game, though. Um, so, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.